How's it going everybody? Nick from Geek Gumbo and this is just going to be a quick video showing off um, probably one of the most over the top games that I've played on Steam so far. Uh, it's currently in early access. Um, it's called Rogue Stash. It's um... <coughs> Ooh, Batman hat. Ooh, okay. Um, it's called Rogue Stash. It's based, It's a roguelike shoot 'em up um that um it's kind of hard to describe you're basically killing eyeballs cuz they're taking people's Here mustaches or whatever and it can turn them into zombies i do apologize if you hear the clicking of my mouse um oh, oh dick. <laughs> And, uh, blah. So you can shoot enemy. It's a shoot 'em up, as you can see. Uh, kind of like in the vein of, uh, uh, Nuclear Throne. For anybody that's played Nuclear Throne. But it's, it's just ridiculously over the top, but so much fun to play. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the controls. God damn it. The controls take a minute to get used to because of. Son of a bitch. The controls do take a minute to get used to. I'm about to die. Hell the controls yeah. take a minute to get used to because uh, you can play with either a mouse and keyboard or uh, with a controller, but I would not recommend playing with a controller um, because the reticule is really hard to control with the controller because you control it with the right analog stick when you're playing with the controller so um if you're comfortable with keyboard and mouse controls i definitely would recommend that um which is what i'm playing right now um Let's it's go. A very very simple movement um you use a and d to move and you use w to jump you can do a little double jump nice and like I said, it's just a, it's just a really over the top shoot 'em up. Nope, get away from me. Hell yeah! Uh, you can obviously also you can jump on enemies to kill them as well. But um, hell yeah! Oh, yeah. Thank. you. what I was saying. This will do. And then once you have your stash meter, stash power. Which, uh... You know, obviously, makes, you know, gives you a better gun, uh, fully automatic. This will so you're do. not having to do like I've been doing and just click, 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 click. And the, the stash power lasts fairly long, especially if you uh, let it build up all the way, which obviously you have to in order for it to work, and see now it's gone. Damn it. See, it's areas like these that can get a little tricky, nice. but the whole premise is to make it through the levels. To make it through the level, you have to find the button, and the button opens the door. And as you can also see, uh, whoops. Excuse me. Um, you can also see that uh, I have a hat on. You can choose a, a mustache, which gives you bonuses, and your hats give you bonuses as well. And if you earn enough points uh, after every run, you will get to spin the stash wheel, which will give you a randomly generated hat. So, like, I guess with like the higher the level you are. Um, I haven't really quite figured out how it works with the with everything, but basically the higher level you are, at least that's what I think it is. Um, you can get rid of that. And... Nice. Oh yeah, love the railgun. It'll give you one, two, or three uh, added effects. Like I think this Here one. Go. Uh, I forget what this one does. 
And some of these levels, uh, some of these le uh, level layouts can get a little uh, hectic. Oh my junk! Mm. Oh, spawning those damn things. So, uh, unfortunately, I've never, I've made it to the first uh, eight. Well. Uh, roguelike, it's all randomly generated every time. Uh, the level layout and all that, and the boss. Once you make it through four levels, you make it to a boss, but I have never uh, been able to beat a boss. This will do. Unfortunately, so it's just up to me to, as the young kids say, get good, bitch. Uh, you can also, um,. You can also, uh, jump along the wall a la Mega Man style. Hooray, level up. I don't even know what level we are. I think, oh, we're level six? Nice. Okay, so we gotta go find the button. Button, button, where's the button? Well, that enemy got the short end of the stick when this level was made. Um, hmm. Where is the, uh... Where is the button? Seriously, where's the button? Like, what did I miss? And I do apologize with how, like, dark... Well, it doesn't look dark on the video, but it's very, very dark on my screen. Okay, seriously, where's the button? Now, as I mentioned before, uh, this game is in early access, although I haven't really quite run into too many um, issues with the game yet. If you want to, it's uh, I'll put a link in the description to the store page. I will put a link in the description to the store page so you can uh, go ahead and, if you want to, you can buy the game. Um... Seriously, where, where, where the hell is the button? Like, did I miss something? Or did the game bug out again? Because I've, I've only run into, like, maybe one bug with this game. Like, I was playing earlier, and I got to the end of a level, and... Um, or I might have already got... Wow, I already gotten the button. Good job, me. Up, oh, see, yep, it did it again. I'm, I'm stuck in the door for some reason. Yep, this is like the second time this has happened to me. So, yeah, the game's only about like five bucks, maybe. Um, So, just go on, to, I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description to the Steam store page uh, where you can buy the game. Now, um, once again, this is in early access, so don't go in expecting a finished product although it looks like a finished product you know there's still a lot of bugs and glitches obviously this one this is the prime one that I have this is the prime one that I have uh, run into but with that being said um, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always don't forget to like comment subscribe all the fun hibbity bibbity bullshit and I will see you in the next uh, in the next video so see y'all later